Hi guys, it's Carrie. Um, I'm gonna make this video tonight and post it in the morning. So good morning, because um, I don't want to forget. So you know they were talking about reducing the production at New Indy. Um, the reason for that is, you know, if the the steam stripper can only handle half of what they have, in, you know, coming out with the foul condensate now, the other half is being sent to that aeration basin, you know, with the little eggy things um, spinning around there or look like eggs. Um, so if they were to reduce production down to what their current stripper can handle, um, we wouldn't have that other half going into the, the unmaintained, unsatisfactory lagoons. Um, and it would just be beneficial because, you know, you're getting more odor. So you've got odor coming from aerators. You've got odor coming from that being sent in. Um, you know, if it's going to below the liquid level and then it all wants to escape and evaporate, as um, Deborah Jennings with L. Rob Pope has mentioned, then, you know, you've got multiple sources of toxic odors. Um, I want to, you know, emphasize the toxic, you know, it's a toxic fecal odor. That's, that's what we're getting. Um, so if, if you were to reduce the production and do that, then, you know, you're not sending that other half of, you know, foul condensate untreated down to the lagoon. Um, so that would be, you know, the very first step that I would imagine that they would, would approach. And that's why they keep saying this, this lower the production, lower the production, lower the production. And we all know why New Indy doesn't want to because, you know, that's going to cut into their profits. So that would kind of give them motivation to, hey, get that steam stripper upgraded get that second one in there in case this one has maintenance or something happens and I'm gonna tell you about that you know I've been here six years and I had family here ten years before that um, I've had cousins attend and graduate from Winthrop I've had you know I've, I've been down here that's why I came here I love South Carolina I made that little that little wall hanging in the background guys when I first moved down here um, took me ten hours only cost me 50 bucks though so win for me. Um, <laughs> it wasn't always like this. I remember even when I bought my house, you know, three, four years ago now, um, it was two times a year and it, it was almost like you would go outside and you thought it was your, your garden. And I knew what it was, you know? Um, and I'm like, okay, well it rained, you know, something happened, you know, now I'm realizing it, it could have been maintenance, you know, but it was low levels. It was tolerable. You know why? Because they increase production. So, you know, they didn't evaluate properly, but they knew production would increase because it is in their, their permits that it's going from, you know, below 30 kappa to 90 kappa um, for production. So they knew it was going to increase. Um, they just didn't evaluate properly, I guess is what L. Rod Pope and team were explaining last night. Um, so I just kind of want to explain that part to you, the whole lowering production part, um, because it would help. I mean, I, I, I understand the confusion and the frustration, but you're not sending that other half from the increased production. You know, we've got multiple issues here is what I'm saying, I guess. Um, so you wouldn't be sending that other half of, you know, untreated foul condensate. It would all go through the stripping process and, and wherever it goes after that. And we do have diagrams. I'm still going through all that, guys. Um, so I just need a good weekend. But I wanted to explain that part to you um, and the kappa part a little bit because they knew it was going to increase. It's not like it was a surprise um, to them. You know, they know this industry, like I said. So um, that's just where we are. Um, you know, I, I totally get the lowering production until they can figure out long-term solutions for dredging the aeration basin. Um, and I do, I do feel there's other things that could probably be done. Um, I'm not an expert though, so I would have to ask um, an engineer. And we do have some in our group, so maybe I'll reach out to them and ask if I know I've posted some late at night and some of you have seen them. Um, so maybe I'll ask if some of those fixes are good for temporary um, relief, you know, while we move forward and progress because I know we're going to get there. I know that the lawsuit's going to grow. Um, I, you know, I have faith over fear. So um, 
I do. At this point, I do. Um, I didn't always. So I, I know this is going to happen. Um, so thanks. Bye.